Today, law enforcement agencies across the country will be highlighting cold cases. It's all in hopes of finding people's loved ones, or at the very least, to try and bring them some, cold, some closure. And Walter's here to explain just how important this day is. Hey. Uh, Russell, good morning to you. More than 600,000. 600,000. That's how many people go missing in the United States every year. In fact, officials are calling it the nation's silent mass, mass disaster. Uh, now, fortunately, many of those children and adults, they're found alive and well quickly. Tens of thousands aren't, though, and their cases are going cold. According to the National Missing and Unidentified Persons System, or NAMUS, more than 22,700 people are currently missing in this country. Big chunk of those cases are right here in Florida. You're looking at the list of names right now, nearly 1,700 of them. Third highest number of cases in the country behind California and Texas. Just a few of those cases, Angela and Briccio. She was last seen at 19 years old, November of 86 by her estranged husband. He told police he dropped her off at the church's, fry, at church's fried chicken in Lakeland after they got into an argument. Today, she would be 55 years old. These two were last seen in April of 93. Bonnie and Jeremy Dages. Jeremy was just four months old when he and his mother left their home in Lithia. They met somebody at a shopping center in Brandon. Their vehicle was ever found. Uh, was found there, excuse me, was found there, uh, but they haven't been seen since. NAMUS created this age progression of Jeremy. Today, he would be 30 years old. Uh, you're probably familiar with this case. Zachary Bernhard been missing for more than 22 years. His mother reported him missing from their Clearwater apartment. She told police that she went for a walk in the middle of the night, and when she came back, he was gone from his bed. Today, Zachary would be 31 years old. If you know anything about these three cases, you should contact law enforcement or NAM us. We're going to post a link to their website on our website, positivetynews.com. Its database has information on every missing persons case nationwide, and that will be under the scene on TV section, Russell. Mm. Okay, Walter. Thank you. you